Thank you for giving me the opportunity. Sir, the President's address to the joint session of Parliament has lost its significance over the years as it appears that it has become an empty ritual. And the President's address, which is being discussed now, is not an exception to it. It appears that the President's address is something like a report card of the government to the parliamentarians. But at the outset, I can say, if one gives a cursory look to the President's address, it will appear that this government is not a game changer, but a name changer. As rightly pointed out by the honorable members, particularly the honorable leader of the opposition, as how the names of different schemes have been changed from the previous government's projects to the present government's projects. I don't want to repeat those. Sir, in the, uh, I quote from the President's address only one line, inclusive growth covering the poorest of the poor is my government's top priority. If we take it seriously, if the government takes it seri seriously, then the government ought to have considered the UN Millennium Development Report 2014, whereby the report has assessed that 40 million of Indian citizens are poorest of the poor and they constitute one third of the poorest of the poor of the world. This is the situation prevailing in this country and still the slogan of inclusive growth is being chanted by the new government without envisaging any action plan, definite action plan to help this poorest of the poor who are living in subhuman conditions. Sir, we have heard this slogan over the years and now a new slogan, maximum governance, minimum government has been echoed in President's address, referring once again to the poorest of the poor. This will continue to be a hoax. This will continue to be hoax, I repeat, until and unless the basic conditions of the poorest of the poor of our country are improved within a definite time frame. Sir, the President's address mentions about a government initiative called Himmat to ensure women's safety in Delhi. Sir, subsequent to Nirbhaya incident, what we find in Delhi that the atrocities upon the women, particularly rape incidents, incidents of rape, are alarmingly increased, increasing every day. And on the other day, even a Japanese woman was not spared, she was gang raped in a moving car in the national capital. What, uh, what assessment the foreigners will have about the national capital of Delhi and the country as a whole when such incidents are alarmingly increasing every day. Sir, because in Bharat ki Razdhani mein mahilao ke liye koi safety nahi hai, saadi dunia mein Bharat ka chhavi kharaab ho rahi hai. Sir, the speech refers to legal reform and setting up of National Judicial Appointments Commission. This is a another uh, uh, half-truth. This is another half-truth because the government of the day has not yet issued any notification about the setting up of National Judicial Appointments Commission for reasons better known to the government that there is no mention about the non-issuance of the notice for setting up of National Judicial Appointments Commissions 
in the president's speech as a result of which the uh, system which was going on for a long time over the years at the whims and fancies of certain judicial officers are still going on and even in today's newspaper we have found that one high court judge from Onisha has been elevated to Supreme Court and the law minister has justified the earlier situation which is being continued even today without adhering to the, upon the, to the, so the act which has been passed by both houses of the parliament that is National Judicial Appointments Commission Act because the concerned ministry has not issued any notification as yet. That is why the act has not been implemented. Now, secondly, so, so far the judicial and legal reforms are concerned. What about the judicial accountability bill and bill proposed by the earlier government? What about judicial accountability bill? So much has been said about judicial accountability. By so, in so many quarters it is being discussed, but the President's address is conspicuously silent about the Judicial Accountability Bill, which was proposed by the earlier government. Even those who are in the present government, they supported it like anything. Sir, we always stress the need for administrative and electoral reforms, and I am sorry to say that there is no mention about administrative and electoral reforms in the President's speech. To our dismay, we have found that these matters have also not found any place in President's speech. Sir, the President's address has a tall claim about formation of Niti Ayo. After eliminating the Planning Commission, the Niti Ayo has come. I am having the copies of the 1950 resolution of the central government, resolution number one, capital P within bracket capital C, public 50, dated 15th March 1950. How, this is how the planning commission was formed by the Dithan government, the first independent government of this country, whereby the planning commission was given certain powers to exercise, like <coughs> not only to, de de not only to uh, uh, go for the planning of the country, but for some allocation, plan, and plan allocation also. But now, this Niti Ayog, it says, which has been formed on the 1st January of this year, it says that a group of people with authority entrusted by the government to formulate, regulate policies concerning Transforming India, how the transformation will come, will be affected. There is no guideline. Anything has been said in the <coughs> feature in the uh, features contained in this Niti Ayog. And sir, it has been stated that all powers, financial powers about plan allocation now will be exercised by the Finance Ministry, Planning Commission was a separate body. They used to work independently, so far the planning is concerned and the plan allocation is concerned and they used to make recommendations to the government and government was empowered to accept any recommendation or not to accept or to amend some recommendations. So after so several discussions with the chief ministers, etc., the planning commission used to formulate the plan of the, gov plan of the uh, government of India and to go for the allocation. But now, sir, the allocation of fund has been entirely given, the power of allocation has been entirely given to the finance ministry. Now, suppose in a given situation, a, a political party X is in power and political party Y is in power in, the, in one of the states, the X party which is ruling the center and the Y party which is ruling the state are two different political parties, sometimes opposed to each other, then it may so happen that the finance ministry of the government of India, they may 
exercise their powers on political considerations to deprive that particular state. As it happens sometimes and we, are, we have enough experience about it. Therefore, <coughs> propriety demands that the Finance Commission, which, a, which is a constitutional body, to look into the financial matters between the states and the center, that Finance Commission should have been given a permanent status by amending the constitution and all financial powers for allocation to the states ought to have been given to a constitutional authority like Finance Commission and not to the Finance Ministry of the central government. This way, this government has usurped the powers of the people in other terms. Sir, now I come to other uh, points which has been referred in President's address. The, the address reassures that the government is committed to stop generation of black money both domestically and internationally. We have heard enough of it. We have discussed enough of it. Now I only tell a very small story. One of my distant relatives, who was a government employee, a lower division clerk, after retirement, I have found him that twice or thrice in a week he is going to the bank. I wondered why this gentleman is going to the bank, bank twice or thrice in a week. So just I asked him that what is the reason for you going to the bank? Very often he said that I am going to check whether in my account 15 lakh rupees have come or not. I don't know who has said this. But this is a story about the middle class people. This is a story of the general people of my country because according to them, a very powerful gentleman assured that 15 lakhs rupees will be deposited in account of the Indians because they will bring back the black money from outside the country. And what is the reality? All we know, if a single individual, he said that whatever information I have given, leaked for Indian government, that is only 1%. If the Indian government contacts me, I can give him more 99% information about the black money deposited in different accounts outside this country. What is the neat result? Whether government has taken any action to contact the gentleman and to have more information about it, even I put a question in this house and the reply was evasive. Sir, now <coughs> the Namami Gange, another nomenclature, it's a Sanskrit nomenclature, Namami Gange. All right. Nobody should object. We must have go for Namami Gange. But the Central Water Commission, the government has ignored the fact. Even the President has not mentioned that the Central Water Commission of the Government of India has recently raised an objection. What was the objection? Because the Australian government, the Indian government, has signed an MOU with the Australian government which is effective from 2015 to 2020, that is for five years, that they will go for preparation of Ganga River Basin Master Plan, etc. for Ganga rejuvenation on, and Central Water Commission objection before the MOU was signed. The Central Water Commission categorically objected on the ground that India's water security would be at stake as, and the reason given, why the national water security will be at stake, the reason given by the Central Water Commission was that the hydrological data of Ganga is classified. The hydrological data of Ganga is classified. And once this Australian government agency comes for this survey, and other things, then all this classified information will go to the hands of the Australian government 
and you can understand what is the impact. That is why not Trinamool Congress, not any other political party, not any other opposition party, but it is the Central Water Commission which opposed tooth and nail. But unfortunately, the government did not adhere to the valid objections raised by the Central Water Commission. It may be a quid pro quo. I don't know. Nowadays, something is going on behind the screen in Australia and India. So it may be a quid pro quo. I cannot rule out. Sir, I will take only two, three minutes more. The President's address highlights the visit of Chinese President and quote unquote the historic visit of US President. Sir, what we have seen in the, after, in the aftermath of the visit of the Chinese President and the US President, on the other day, the Indian ambassador in Beijing was called by the Chinese authority to protest about the recent visit of our Honorable Prime Minister in Arunachal Pradesh. This is the outcome of the Chinese President's visit to India. That our Prime Minister, our Honorable Prime Minister is visiting a province which is an integral part of India and objection is being raised by the Chinese authority by calling the Indian ambassador in Beijing. So this is the mutual relations that we have developed. Odole me dhule, sabarmati ashram me dole me dhule, hum dekhe TV me, sab koi dekha, ab uska natija kya nikli? Yehi natija nikla ki hamara ambassador ko waha bula ke dhamakki de raha hai ki tumhara pradhan mantri ki urna chal me gaye hai. Arre, hamara desh me hamara pradhan mantri kaha jayega, nahi jayega, o Chinese authority tay kalega. Yeh halat paida ho gya bhi. And we write in the adjustment of the President that, look, our relationship has been good with the country's relationship. So this is the situation. And what about the U.S. President? We all know what he has said. The religious tolerance, the age-long practice of India, religious tolerance should be maintained at any cost. And what is the program for maintaining religious tolerance? Ghar Vapasi. Ghar Vapasi. Hamara yaha se jab Obama ji America Ghar Vapas gaye, to hamko kuch sujhav diya. Aur hamne Ghar Vapasi program aplaya. Wo Ghar Vapasi program kya hai? Ki chabar dasti kisi ka dham ko badal do. Madha chere sa jai si एक महान व्यक्ति को बदनाम करो ऐसे सारे कड़ी कार्यक्रम इस रूलिंग पार्टी का जो अदर एसोसिएट्स है ये लोग ने आई एम कॉन्क्लूडिंग सर आई एम कॉन्क्लूडिंग हमारा सरकार खामोश रहे जब घर पापा सी चल रहा है हमारा सरकार खामोश रहे ऐसा तो बहुत बातें की जाती है मदर टेरेसा को आत्मा को प्रवार की जा रही है और क्या ना क्या बात है घर वापसी ये घर वापसी है कि डर वापसी डर वापस आ रहा है गुजरात में जो हुआ बाबरी मस्जिद तोड़ने का बाद जो हालत पैदा हुआ था उस समय जो डर पैदा हुआ था वो डर अभी वापस आ रहा है ये घर वापसी नहीं है ये डर वापसी है और इसके लिए बारे में प्रेसिडेंट के एड्रेस में कुछ नहीं कहा गया है so now I should like to conclude with two lines from a great poet, not from Bengal, not Gurudev Tagore or any other poet, but a great poet from Punjab who was respected by the entire country at his, during his lifetime and even today, those who have interest in poetry they always go through his poems. Sir, he was writing in the Farsi, he was writing in the Farsi. But he came to understand that my poems are like wild 
flowers without any fragrance because the people cannot understand Persian. Therefore, he started writing in Hindi and Urdu. Mila ke likhte the. Kya likha unhone? Bhos jawane pehle unhone likha likha tha. Or my I quote, I quote from his couplets. Iqbal bada updeshak hai. Iqbal bada updeshak hai. Man baato me moh leta hai. Man baato me moh leta hai. Guptar ke o gaji to bana. Guptar ke o gaji to bana. Kirdar ka gaji ban na saka. Unquote. Therefore, abhi hum sun jaye bhoot bhasan. चालीस साल से अधिक समय से मैं राजनीति में हूँ आप बहुत लोग हैं बहुत भाषण सुन चुके हैं बहुत भाषण हम भी दे चुके हैं लेकिन जो लोग गुप्तार की गाजी बन गए वो अभी तक किरदार का गाजी नहीं बन पाया लेकिन वो दिखा रहे हैं कि हमारा 56 सिक्स इंचेस छाती है और हम भारत को बदल देंगे और घर वापसी प्रोग्राम से हम सारे कौम को हम बदल देंगे धन्यवाद सर